So today we're going to try a short episode on what is VPN filter and why are so many people afraid of it. But first, my name is Steve Smith. This is TQA Weekly. Let's just point it out. Defaults are our enemy. And when it comes to malware that can infect our routers, this still holds true. So infecting a computer, by the way, is pretty bad. But infecting the gateway of all your traffic can have even worse consequences. So what is VPN filter? VPN filter is a piece of malware that targets a user's router with a three-stage payload vector that not only compromises the security of the router, but also compromises the security of all users on that network, regardless of which Wi-Fi SSID you're on. If it's all in the same hardware, you're screwed. And it uses default information in order to install itself and overtake operations of target routers in order to begin process of acquiring stage two and stage three of payloads. A compromised router with its stage two payload, a VPN filter can, by the way, use a man in the middle attack that downgrades the security of basically every website you're connecting to on the internet and basically can also aid in the, how do we say, siphoning of money from bank accounts as well as stealing usernames and passwords amongst other pieces of information that have been found to be stolen by VPN filter. And in this logic, according to the idea of this router, it owns all of your traffic. So anybody connecting to the network will be served up compromised information as well as being compromised at the same time. So that means that even if you go on your cell phone to make sure that that financial information you're looking at is good, if that cell phone is connected to the same network, you don't have the right information and you're gonna to have to go by some other means to make sure. But that's not the worst part. I mean, that's pretty bad, but if that happens to you, the next part's gonna be even worse because you won't be able to do anything about it. Stage three of the virus can break your router. So they can take your money and make it so that you can't actually buy a new router. And I haven't heard very much about how stage three is basically implemented, but if it's basically a backup to make sure you're not messing with VPN filter, it's basically self-defense and it's an offensive weapon basically rendering your hardware a paperweight. So what are the ways of mitigating the risk of being infected? Because I want to point out, even if you go to tqaweekly.com slash SE8EP43, look in the R's technical information for all the routers that can be infected and yours is not there, we're going to use some logic here. Routers from the same family often have very similar firmware, which means that it's possible for other routers in the same families to be infected. So you can possibly be safe, but there's no way to guarantee it because there's no way you can scan the router using conventional technology to make sure you're not infected. So hopefully you're not infected. So what you're gonna do is change the username and password of your router from something that's default. A lot of routers use defaults like admin as the username and admin as the password. If this is so, change it right away. If you can change the username, do that too. It's the same vector they use on Internet of Things devices that end up basically DDoSing websites and servers all over the internet. You are responsible for your hardware. You should be changing the username and password. That is one way of just mitigating the risk. The other one is common sense. Update the software and firmware. So in the case of your Router, make sure it has the latest firmware. Some of the latest firmware may help mitigate against this kind of danger. And of course, you're gonna to have to use a little bit more common sense. Just because a website says that it has SSL enabled, so that little lock does not mean that that website is not out to get you with viruses and malware. Be mindful of where you are navigating on the internet and don't just download and install anything willy-nilly. In fact, you may want to start using browsers that don't allow auto download or make sure that automatic downloads are impossible in the settings of your browser. So the safer you are on the internet, the more worry you are or wary you are on the internet of what's going on, the less likely you're going to be the victim of a target, but that does not completely remove all the risks. You still have to make sure you're not using default information anywhere. Like this episode if you liked it. 
Dislike it if you didn't. Share with those that you think can benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at askatsikawayweekly.com. Go to my website, tkwayweekly.com. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tkwayweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes two days in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.